heart stopped. Oh, honey, honey, he's gonna be okay. All right, he's gonna be fine. He's with the best. And you're not alone. There's nothing you can do out here in the hall. Why don't, why don't you sit down? No, no, I'm gonna stay right here. No, no, Henry's right. Let's go down to the waiting room, okay? No. Look, if you're not okay, you can't be here for Chris. Come on. Come on. Katie in there? No. She's right here. Such a coward. The hell you are. You are not a coward, Katie. You're the bravest person I know. No, a brave person would be with the person she loves who's fighting for his life, not hiding out in a graveyard feeling sorry for herself. You need Brad's help. There is no shame in that. But he, he's gone. I can't depend on him anymore, but here I am. Instead of being with a living person, I'm talking to a stone. I do the same thing. You do? Yeah. I do it all the time. It helps. Hell, I, I came up here a couple months ago with a bottle of scotch, <laughs> and I, I matched him one for one. I'd take a shot, and I'd oh. pour one into the ground, and we just went on and on and on like that. So I passed out, and I woke up the next morning, and I, I know, <laughs> and I realized I destroyed this whole patch of grass over here. I got the groundskeeper to take care of it before you notice. But the point, the point is, sweetie, I think it takes a lot more strength and courage to go on with your life and keep Brad in your heart, and to just lock his memory away somewhere in your mind because it hurts too much to remember. Oh, no, I could never do that. I know you could. That's why I love you so much. You gotta stop being so hard on yourself. This is tough stuff. It's just even though I've known Chris forever, I just found him. And the thought of losing him, of having to say goodbye and you, let him go. You don't have to let him go. You're not gonna... Brad's love is still inside of you. And in Jacob's, so that's forever. Yeah, bad stuff happens in life, and people die, but the only way to skip out on the hard part is just to, I don't know, lock yourself up and, and refuse to love anyone but yourself. You can always choose that option if you want. Oh, it doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't, because you don't have a cowardly bone in your body. Look how many times you and I have just kissed each other off for good. And we always came back to each other, right? because we care. We're not getting weaker and more afraid. We're getting stronger and we're getting braver. That's what life's all about. Well, I, uh, I can't tell you what to do, but... What? Whatever decision you make, you should make it soon. Henry. Can you get me to the hospital? I'm glad you're here. Thank you. I wouldn't be anywhere else. So, how are you and himself, Mr. Henry? <laughs> well, we're um, we're pretty wonderful. <laughs> I never would have thought that at this point in my life I would have felt like a newlywed again, but here I am, given another second chance after all these years, and I'm savoring every minute of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You realize that Chris and Katie are going to have a long, wonderful life together, don't you? I'm going to get back. Is he awake? Yeah. Is he all right? I'm good. Is he really? What is it? What's wrong? No, they we're just uh, talking about Chris's options. What options? What options are you talking about? Chris is refusing a treatment that will help him survive. Maybe you can talk some sense into it. Christopher, is that true? Um, it's, it's complicated. 
Not really. John wants to install an LVAD. It's a mechanical device that will help his heart pump if it becomes weak. Like a pacemaker? Well, sort of, but it's, it's a temporary thing, you see. It's not permanent. It's simply to keep him from going into cardiac arrest until we can find a new heart for him, but he isn't refusing to have the surgery. I can't lie here while you and Katie watch me disintegrate for, for days, weeks, maybe longer. I, I don't want to be remembered like that. Oh, for heaven's sake, stop thinking about being remembered. Think about living. Unless I get a new heart. You're going to get a new heart. Of course you're going to get a new heart. Now listen to your father. Listen to John. They know this. You know what, Chris? If you don't want to fight for yourself, you're going to fight for your parents, all right? No parent should suffer the loss of a child. Chris? You want to know what I think? And when you get your new heart, and you're all healthy, we're going to take tango lessons, and we're going to go out dancing with Barbara and Henry. We have so many memories. Oh, she's gonna need you to help her through this. Does that make you jealous? No, not at all. It would be selfish of me to keep you all to myself. But I promise you we will tango rings around them. Very good, Katie. I should hire you to try to talk some sense into my most stubborn patient. I don't even know what I said. Well, what you said was perfect. For all of us. Actually, I could not have said that better myself. I am so proud of you. Bob, where did Bob go? Hey, listen, there's a heart. Careful, Bubbles, Bubbles. You can manhandle them once the new heart is installed, okay? The new heart. I'm gonna miss the old one. How could I help but fall in love with it? But, Dad, where did the heart come from? Bay City. I don't know very much, except they ran a tissue match, and it's perfect. Where's the heart gonna get here? Well, the harvest team is working right now. They have a helicopter standing by, and once they're done, they're going to airlift it right here to the hospital. Didn't know you drank coffee this late in the day. Well, I wanted to give the family some time together, and uh, I want to be with Katie while Chris is going through surgery, so it looks like it's going to be a really long night. I think Katie came back here because of you. Well, what can I say? You married a wonderful guy. <laughs> yes, I did. I just received a call from the cardio team at Bay City General. You're a perfect match, by the way. But some young surgeon over there who they made head of cardiology has taken the heart for one of his own patients.